So prior to do the uh, FTTH service activation, we have to make sure we have all the right tools. And this example here, I have cleaning tools, I have inspection tools, and I have a PPM. Um, I'm going to speak a little bit about, uh, about cleaning. Uh, if there's two methods that can be used, there's the hybrid method and there's the dry method. Hybrid method will involve a solvent. Uh, this is an example of solvent you can have on the market. If you use a solvent like this, it's very important to dry the connector after. So I'm going to do an example. So first, you pull a new sheet of that cloth. Very important to use a new material each time you do a uh, cleaning. Never use twice the same area. So I just put a drop of this liquid on the cloth and I'm going to be cleaning this connector here. So I start from the wet area going down to the dry area. And this is my technique. I used to uh, dry it on a dry section then after just to make sure it is completely dry. Um, this is one method. There's another method that can be used using pre-saturated swabs like this. Uh, these have a, a liquid uh, designed for optical cleaning. Uh, if you use those, again, uh, you have to use something dry after to dry the connector and remove the residue on the connector because this residue can act uh, as, a, as uh, it can interfere with the transmission of the light. Another method is using a mechanical cleaner. Um, it's very common out there, very convenient. Uh, mechanical cleaners, the advantage of those is that you'd never use twice the same area. So the click action will always uh, bring new material in the cleaning process. So you make sure you never use twice the same area. So you don't basically move the dust from a connector to another. Um, you can clean the female port of the, the connector. So uh, the bulkhead or the coupler, if you will, using this tip or um, this little adapter here will convert this cleaner for a jumper cleaning like this. So just a click like this and we actually clean the connector like that. So very simple. There's various cleaners. In this example, I have two. Um, since we're dealing with FTTH network that use OptiTap connector, there's an OptiTap version of that cleaner as well as a standard 2.5 millimeter version of that cleaner, the one I just used on the SCAPC. Then, very important to inspect, make sure that the cleaning that we did is good or Verify if cleaning is not necessary. So if the connector is in good shape, it's clean, you don't actually need to clean. So inspection is the very first step you should always do. Um, inspection probes like this example here, this is a Wi-Fi probe, um, which can be hooked up to a smartphone or a tablet or an Expo tester. Uh, these inspection probe can have various tip on it. So on the table here, I have an OptiTap tip. That's the one that we uh, use on the drop terminal location. Um, I'm going to be using this later on into this video. Uh, we have SC APC adapter tip. So this is actually a tip uh, to inspect the coupler, so the female part of SC APC uh, connectors. And we also have uh, the one for um, 2.5mm APC connectors. So uh, that's the one that we use to inspect uh, jumpers. So uh, very simple to install on the, on the probe. There's a key, you align the key. And then you simply uh, screw on this adapter on the very end of the probe. And now I would be ready to inspect a jumper like this one here. Very simple. Then another tool that we are using in FTTH uh, service activation, of course, is the pound power meter, the PPM350. Uh, within Verizon, there's various flavors of that uh, testers. Um, you have to make sure that you have the right model. So we do have models that we sold in the past that were deployed that are designed to test BPON network. And obviously today what's being deployed is GPON. These uh, two network types do not have the, si the same power levels. So um, the, um, you have to make sure that you have the right model compatible with actually uh, the power level that you will be testing. So to know if you have the right uh, POM power meter, you have to look in the back under the kickstand and there you're going to be uh, reading the part number, PN, uh, and that part number, that model number, will tell you if it's a GPON capable parameter or not. Uh, it's very simple to recognize them. You can have the PPM-352C, like in this example here. 
the C version is totally compatible with uh, GPON networks. No problem with this. This is the most recent recent model that we, we do supply. We, that's the model we actually sell today. Um, Verizon has been um, deploying pump parameters since a while now. So you will have other models in the field. Uh, this is an ex another example here. If I look in the back, I see PPM 352B-EG. Very important to see the EG uh, note here in the model. Uh, the EG means uh, extended range g -pon. If you do not see the G here in the model, uh, that means that the PON parameter you have in your hand is not compatible with g -pon systems. Um, so that's very important to pick up the right tool uh, when you go out in the field to do service activation. Once you have, uh, you make sure you have all the tools in your, uh, on your uh, table, you, uh, you will make sure that your PON parameter is in good shape. Um, you have to make sure that these connectors are clean, very important. To inspect those connectors, it's very simple. So first you have to set your probe with the right adapter tip. So I'm just going to remove the patch cord tip here and I'm going to insert the actual SCAPC female adapter. As you can see here, this adapter is angled. This is, this is an APC adapter, angled polish connector, and there's a key on it. So this key will be aligned with the key within the EUI adapter. So you see there's a key here as well. So you're gonna insert this there and you're gonna see the, uh, the image of the connector. So to do the inspection here, um, we'll be using the SC APC tip for female connectors. Uh, since we'll be inspecting through the EUI, so the adapter on the unit. Uh, we don't have to remove the adapter from the unit, we're going to test through. So that's the method we advise to do. So there's a key here and there's a key on the UI. We're going to, going to align this together. The probe is uh, completely automated, so we don't have to do any action other than just connecting the probe there. It's going to focus and center and capture and analyze the connector. So we see a green LED on the probe. That's an indicator that this connector is in good shape. We repeat the step for both of these connectors on the unit. Make sure it's, it's all clean and all pass. And we can also, we can also use the smartphone to look at the connector image. And in this case, we clearly see it's a pristine connector, perfect condition, ready to do the actual uh, power assessment. 